Hello Twin Flames, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for liking, subscribing and all the amazing comments and feedback you leave me. It means the world as you know. And I'm going to tune into the masculines a little bit better later as in I'm going to find out how they're feeling and blah blah. But right now I want to use some tarot. Some tarot to really see what's going on with the situation because, you know, the masculines, they're waking up but I do feel they need a little bit of space right now because they're processing things. So let's really tune in with the tarot then. So thank you angels for being with me and everyone watching. And the one that's just fell out, by the way, is going round in circles, okay? And you may feel like you're going round in circles right now. What do we need to know about the dynamic right now, please, angels? What do the twins need to know right now? What's going on with the twins right now? What's going on with the twins right now, angels? What do we need to know? Thank you. Right then. They're saying calm down. The first thing that's coming through is calm down because look, dreams are starting to come true now. Dreams are starting to come true. So you need to calm down. You need to relax. You need to let go and let it flow and not try and force things. Just allow everything to fall naturally into place. Wow. Thank you, angels. How amazing is this? Top card off then. The card that just fell on the floor going round in circles. So... Right now, you may feel as a feminine that things aren't moving forward, that you're still stuck, things aren't being rectified, you feel like you're going round in circles and there's no balance coming in. But the angels are saying you have to have faith in this journey. The masculines right now are winning the battle, okay? They're winning the battle. It feels like, you know, that they're fighting with the ego and the higher self. There's real changes going on within the masculine right now. And they are winning the battle. So you have to have patience. The angels are saying right now, we've got five men in this picture. And each one is kind of doing its own thing. And it isn't really hitting them. Okay, They're kind of trying to fight with these ones. But there's no direction. And the angels are saying right now, the masculines have got like five different personalities. And because of that, they're starting to gain momentum. They're starting to see things, but it's it's freaking them out because they're realizing a few things. But it's like the five people in one right now. It's like someone who's got multiple personality disorder. You know, one minute they're all right, then they want to be with the feminine, then they're going into ego. There's a lot going on. And this is because the masks are falling off. So you have to give them time. There's a lot of confusion energy right now with the masculines. They're not right sure. They're not they're not sure what's going on. They're saying they're not right sure, which means they don't know. You know, there's confusion there. They're not even speaking the sentences properly. And it's because the passion and fire that the feminine creates within them. This is how they see the feminine. Feminine, keep doing you. Keep focusing on you. And so many of us right now are, are doing the hair nice and looking good and doing things that make us feel good. And the masculines know that. You know, they're being drawn to this amazing light that you're shining out because the feminines keep the fire burning like the Queen of Wands. You know, you keep the fire burning. Amazing. And one of my friends and subscribers, her um, Twitter name is Queen of Wands, you know. And this is for you, Tracy, if you're watching as well. Keep doing what you're doing because you are shining your light bright, you know. So the angels are saying, keep shining your light bright, feminines, because you are amazing and special and unique. And you have this light inside you, this sexual energy, this amazing beacon of light that just shines out and the masculines right now they're confused by it all they're starting to see things from five different points of view that's fascinating because they also know that the feminine is the nurturer the feminine is the 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 steering wheel okay there's the show me this is like the steering wheel here moving things in the right direction and the families right now are starting to move things in the right direction that's because you're believing you're realizing a few things you're starting to let go and let it flow which we've just talked about and because of that you're steering things in the right direction and whereas you may be going off the road a little bit 
you're now bringing it back into into alignment you know and the masculines know they know whether they admit it to you or they don't you know they know that you are that light that you steer them in the right direction that without you they feel lost and alone and they don't know why they don't know why they may ma they may ma ugh, they can't get the words out okay the masculines right now are very confused the tongue tied they want to say things, but they can't. They don't feel they can express themselves. I'm really tuning into their energy right now. And the feminines, you may feel a bit like that as well, but you're more in control. You're way more in control now than you've ever been in this dynamic. And it's because you're starting to believe. You know that you've got guides around you. You know you're supported by heaven. And you're starting to release it all and relax and trust in divine timing. If you're still holding on, you need to let go, okay, you've got to stop clinging on, you've got to allow it to flow, and the masculines know, and they show me the clock, so everything's in divine timing, you know, so you've got to just let it be, just allow it, allow it to flow, you know, because the feminines, you know, you get your power from source, you get your power from heaven, from the universe, you know, the masculines get their power from you, so keep just doing what you're doing, and the masculines know that you are the light that steers them in the right direction, so they're feeling lost right now again, they don't know what's going on, you know, they're trying to find the way, but they're fighting against all of these five personalities right now, they are winning the battle though, the angels are saying that, but it's taking a bit of time, and, you know, justice will be served. So this is about blindfolds coming off, balance coming in. Again, sorting things out on the 3D, okay? Sorting things out. And this will be for the feminines and the masculines, bringing balance in, sorting out actual 3D stuff. So finances, security, job stuff, you know, home stuff. This is about getting everything in order on the 3D. So, you know, you may be swinging up high on the 5D, but they're saying you've still got business to take care of. You've still got business down here to take care of. And they show me again, financial matters. You know, if you need to get your finances in order right now, now is the perfect time to do that. So the saying as well, focusing on the 3D is going into the past. And coming into the future is really focusing on dreams coming true because there's going to be an end to setback and delays. Things are moving forward and it's in the springtime, you know. It's in the springtime. And they're showing me here that, you know, the, the sun is shining on things that, you know, once animals are in the field again, that's what they're saying, <clears throat> communication will be restored when you see animals in the fields and they may be out there now, but they say when they're actually grazing in the fields, when the weather's getting better, you know, when it feels better, that's when <clears throat> communication is going to be cleared up because the closing throat chakra is showing me it again. Things will move forward and they're going to move forward quickly and it's going to happen within the next eight weeks. They're showing me that, okay? The next eight weeks, this is the eight of ones and within the next eight weeks, I'm sorry, it's not eight days, it's eight weeks things are moving forward so you have to keep the faith because fate and destiny are coming in bringing blessings in they're opening up new beginnings now fresh starts they're making things happen because you were steering things families in the right direction you're moving back onto the road you've been veering off the road you know whatever jeep you've been driving it's been going over the edge they show me like a rocky cliff like a, a little road on a rocky cliff where you can fall down both sides and you've been nearly falling off the edge of this cliff you know like you can't see me on this video now that's what you've been doing but now you're coming back into alignment and you're getting things straight again and it's bringing power energy in powerful changes and it's allowing the masculines the space to take their masks off and to be vulnerable and feel safe and open up to who they are instead of being this one because I just saw this as I turned this over the two kings you know they're becoming like this when they've been like this they've been shut down for so long they've been hiding behind the masks for so long that you know it's been a little bit scary really you know but now the vulnerable side is coming out and where they fell in the spread this is how they see themselves and this is how others see them so right now the truth is that they are now feeling safe they're vulnerable they're opening themselves up the masks are falling off 
and you know they, they're starting to feel things and because of that they're confused the tongue tied the fighting with the five aspects of themselves but they're still showing to others the hard side that they don't care they're not bothered they're doing their own things you know that they're quite calm and collected if you're still seeing that your masculine is like that then know that inside he's a lost little boy and he's facing his demons wow because he does feel like you know he wants to hide away a little bit he feels like he's got battles going on he feels like he needs to stand up for himself a little bit he doesn't understand what's happening so the masculines right now are kind of in defensive mode because they're feeling vulnerable and the feminines you know you are setting boundaries now you're not taking any crap anymore you're allowing things to flow you're getting out of toxic situations to show me that, you know, you're letting go of anyone who doesn't give you what you need, you know, anyone that's dragging your energy down or making you feel low or lost, you're saying, no, 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 I am powerful, I am Joan of Arc, and the answer is, do your planning now, because we've got the seven here, and the show meets July, so I keep saying June and July, this is saying that you'll reap the rewards that you're sowing now in July time, June, July, so, you know, and this isn't me saying, oh, I've put it forward a month, I don't want you to say, oh, you said June, Liz, and now it's July, time is an illusion, and what they show me here is whatever you're planting now, you'll get the benefits from later on, remember, you plant it now, it takes a season to grow, and the season coming in is springtime, and they're showing that communication thing, sorting out things are going to flow and move forward, but you have to be patient. So right now, plant your intentions, and I'm going to do a video on manifesting, they're guiding me to do that, a video on manifesting, how to manifest, how to create things in your reality. So I'm going to just turn some extra ones, the ones I'm being guided to turn over, because a happy home is coming. And if you think your masculine's in a happy home right now, whether he's in a relationship, whether he's married, he's single, whatever he's doing, you know, trust me, it isn't all hunky-dory. You know, they've just given me a bit of head rush there. So, you know, don't think whatever they are doing, they are happy because they're not. They, they can't be happy without the feminine, you know. And this is showing that it's all illusion. But this is coming happiness. Happiness. I'm not saying you're going to be in union with your twin like in the next five minutes. It's a long process. You know, it's not a soulmate. It's for soul growth. But this is showing happiness coming in. And I feel that, you know, on the 5D, you can have this happiness now. You can have this happiness now. Hope for the future coming in. And we know that. It's about releasing anything toxic and moving forward, cleansing yourself, balancing yourself, harmonizing things, moving forward. The star is shining on everything. The sun is shining on everything, you know. Hope for the future coming in. And, you know, don't let anything stand in your way. There's a, there's a divide right now between you and the masculine. But, you know, it's nothing that can't be broken through. It's nothing that can't be broken through. And again, they need an offer to come forward. They're sorting out the finances right now. They're sorting out success. They're sorting out whatever they need to, to come forward. And, you know, on, on the, the magical side of things, they show me this as the intense passion between you on the 3D and the 5D. But especially on the 5D right now. And this is that the masculine wants to devour the feminine. I'm going to use the sex cards maybe tomorrow, maybe Thursday, I don't know. I'm going to see what they guide me to do. But the passion is still there. That never dies. It's there, you know. Embrace that passion. And don't be in pain over it. You need to release the pain. You know, the angels are saying over the next five weeks, it's very important that you focus on what is there instead of what isn't there. Because in this card, he's focusing on the cups. The cups that have fell down and there's two beautiful golden cups behind him. That's what he needs to be focusing on. But no, he's in pain and suffering. This card reminds me of Jesus when he was in the Garden of Gethsemane. And he was in so much pain, he was sweating tears of blood, he was sweating blood because he knew what was coming and it was painful, you know. And the angels are saying sometimes in this situation, it feels like that, you know, it feels that painful that you can't go on another day and you need to pick yourself back up because if you just look behind you, there's 
amazing things and this is why it's important right now to be grateful to be grateful for what you've got now to be grateful for all the good things that you know you've, you've got amazing things in your life and if you don't think you have then you know what are you even watching this on you've got access to it to youtube you know you've got food that you can eat you've got a roof over your head you've got clothes to wear you've got support right here with family we're all family we're all going through the same thing we may have different situations but we're all learning the same lessons on this journey you know we're all learning the same lessons we've all been through pain on this journey so you know stop looking at, at like in an entrapment way stop looking at it as in poor me and that's what the masculines do the masculines are in the poor me you know you're a warrior feminines you're a warrior stand up no more doing this okay this is what the masculines do you get up on your feet now soldier and because treasure chests are opening and everything you desire is coming forward everything okay the masculines are starting to see remember when we did the, the dragon cards when we did the sacred traveler cards and you know the dragon was uncovering the treasure to the masculines and that's what's happening now you know that's what's happening now the masculines are seeing these things and they're showing me october october for the treasure chest october is open full so you know you've got to have patience on this journey so, you know, it's not a two-minute journey. It's not going to happen overnight. You've got to realise that this is a long a long game, not a short game. But it'll be worth it in the end. And it's all about soul growth. And, you know, if you can't handle that, if you want someone in your life now, then you have to allow a soulmate in. And there's a few people who've commented saying, I can't cope with this journey. It's too much. I need love now. So, you know, if you're feeling that, then allow a soulmate in allow a soulmate in it doesn't mean you won't be in union with your twin or you're not going to connect with your twin you're still connected with your twin no matter who you're with you know so if you decide you want love now then you have to allow a soulmate in because you know your twin isn't just going to turn up on your door and give everything to you because that's what soulmates do your twin is your mirror making things come to the surface for healing healing things within you to make you the greatest version of yourself and it's a beautiful beautiful thing and the thing is if you could see through the eyes of the angels you wouldn't change that you know you wouldn't change that so i hope this helps have a wonderful day and i'll see you soon